I-400 Sentoku in progress. Today we will focus on hull painting, ship's artillery and Aichi water planes. I am gonna use spray paint for the hull, we need to mask our deck that is already painted. For this purpose I have used Tamiya masking tapes. The yellow one in my opinion is slightly better, it's thinner, easy to cut and work with. The advantage of white tape, which is thicker but narrow, is that we can easily mask slightly rounded edges. It took me some time to mask the whole deck as I wanted to do it very carefully. Besides, I wanted to follow the painting plan and spray all the elements that should be painted in grey hull color. After masking the deck I've painted the first coat with Tamiya TS66 spray and after it has dried I was going to make some shading using a pencil. I've used the 2B pencil which is uh, quite soft. Probably 4B would be even better for this purpose but I've got a uh, quite good effect. I tried to mark the metal sheet on the hull and then gently wrap with a cotton bud, creating a natural looking shading. After this stage I've painted the second coat and proceeded to the assembly of ship's artillery. I-400 was heavily armed for a submarine. Uh, it has 5 guns, one giant 140mm uh, gun, the largest ever mounted on a submarine, and four 25mm anti-aircraft guns, one single and three triples. After cutting all the elements, I started gluing Edward's photo edge parts. 
There are really a lot of them for the artillery and they significantly improve its look. For pasting these tiny elements uh, with uh, CA glue, I've used a small stick with Patafix. Using it gives more control and makes it a lot easier. This is how the artillery looks like uh, with Edward's uh, PE elements. Quite nice in my opinion. The moment of true came after the paint dried. Removing the tape, I could breathe a sight of relief. Masking was very good, the paint was exactly where I wanted it to be. It was the first time for me to use uh, pencil for shading. The effect on the upper hull was slightly visible, so I tried to make it harder on the lower part of the hull. Using the same 2B pencil and uh, cotton buds, I tried to mark the metal sheet lines. That's how the hull looks before painting the lower part. Next step was to mask the hull for painting. I've used tape uh, creating the straight line between two main hull colors. This line is going through the torpedo hatch, so I needed to mask it carefully. After masking I've painted the ship with TS33 dull red and let the model dry. I-400 was able to carry three water planes, Aichi M6A1 Seiran. Planes was adapted to be carried in the ship's hangar. 
in the set there are 6 sirens, 4 in the hangar version and uh, 2 ready to fly. My intention was to make all the planes and show different positions on the model. I cut out all the elements, sanded it and fit it together. As you can see after first coat my shading was hardly visible. So I started to do it again before the second coat. Using pencil and cotton buds I've made even harder shading than before. After that I've painted the second coat. Next stage was to paint artillery. I've used gunmetal Hataka paint that was heavily diluted. Uh, because of that I've had uh, poor paint coverage, but that was the plan actually. I wanted to paint even 4 or 5 coats to have more control over these tiny elements. Eventually I've painted 4 coats and got nice coverage. As you can see now, shading on the hull is visible. The moment came when the heart beats uh, faster. Fortunately also this time the masking turned out to be very good. I'm not sure if it's me or the tape, but I really recommend this Tamiya masking tape. Using light grey paint I've made some scratches on the artillery. Then I've mounted the guns and pasted on the machine gun deck. I've also pasted additional elements on the deck, some air intake boxes or mushrooms ventilators. And that's how the deck looks like. Next step was to paint the propellers. I've used Tamiya XF64 paint. I've painted the airstrews on my PE sheet. It was a lot easier to paint and dry it that way. M6A1 Sayran uh, was designed and manufactured typically for use on I-400. The engineers got a task to fit the aircraft into a ship's hangar. 
The wings and the plane's tail were able to fit into position that allows the aircraft to be stored in the hangar. Aichi was standing on a dolly with hydraulic cylinders. After being rolled out of the hangar on rails that were connected to the catapult truck, the wings, tail and horizontal stabilizers uh, unfolded and locked into position. The flow was attached and it was ready to launch into the air. The whole procedure took about 6 minutes. Japanese gave this aircraft name Seiran, which means the mist on a fair day. It would appear suddenly like a mist, moving like a ninja would give the element of surprise. After assembling the aircraft with extra tin glue, I started to add some photo edge parts. Also in this case, there is a lot of them in Edward's PA kit. As you can see, they significantly improve the aircraft's appearance. Next step was to paint the bottom parts of the plane. Instructions tell us to use XF12 paint. It's typical color for Japanese Navy. Trying to buy this paint, unfortunately it wasn't available, so I need a replacement. Colors on the palettes differ a lot, both these colors refer to the same paint. The suggesting of one of them, I've uh, chose Hataka Duck Egg Blue Paint. As it turned out, it was too green. In the end, I've mixed two paints, light grey and Dimension Duck Egg Blue in the following proportions. As you can see, after the first coat, the coverage wasn't very good, but after painting two more, I've got a good result. The upper part of Aichi is painted with a Japanese dark green color. I managed to buy XF70 paint, so I was sure that it will be a proper color. I was trying to paint very precise following the Aichi painting plan. After painting, I installed the bombs in the bottom of the plane. As there are no glass canopies in the set, I tried to paint them with the dark blue paint. After lighting the paint a bit, I've painted the upper parts of the canopy. Let's move on to decals. Before applying them, I've used the gloss varnish to prepare the surface. After it has dried, I've started to paste decals. For easy application and finishing of decals, I've used the Microset and Microsol liquids. There are many decals uh, for planes in this set. We can find Japanese Hinomaru symbols, tactical numbers, and uh, the floats and wings painting details. I have to admit that these Tamiya decals are great, very easy to apply and resistant, forgive all the mistakes I've made.
Wingspan of IJ is about 12 meters, the length is similar. Maximum takeoff weight about uh, 4900 uh, kilograms. Maximum speed uh, 470 kilometers per hour and its range was almost 2000 kilometers. Syrian armament, uh, one 13 millimeter gun, cabin mounted, one type 91 torpedo or two 250 kilogram bombs or one 850 kilogram. Applying decals took me a lot of time, but the final effect was very good. I want to emphasize that using especially microsol liquid is necessary, as uh, with these yellow decals, without microsol you are not able to fit properly to the wing. The planes that will be hangarized, I applied the canopy decals. Also, in this case, Microsoft is a lifesaver. After I saw the result of the canopy with decals, I decided to put them also on the previously painted canopies. In my opinion, this decals looks better. Last elements to mount were propellers. There were only 5 in the set, so I wanted to make one more using the very thin polystyrene. After cutting proper shapes, I've painted the propeller blades and assembled to the model. As you can see, the difference is almost invisible. Reviewing HE photos from one of the museums, I've noticed that there was a yellow stripe on each propeller blade, so I painted it also on my serrans. Next, using light grey Hataka paint, I've made some scratches and using Tamiya wash, I tried to create some shading. After it all has dried, I painted my planes with TS-79 semi-gloss uh, clear varnish. So this will be the final result. As I said, I've changed the painting canopies uh, using decals from the set. After that, it looks more impressive. The decals from the main set and Edward's photoage parts give Seyrans a very realistic look. I know that this episode is quite long, but I wanted to show you the whole process of assembling serials. I hope you didn't fall asleep. So it's a good opportunity to wish you all a very happy Easter.
stay healthy, stay with your family, although it's a necessity nowadays. Take care and uh, once you eat some eggs, maybe sit down and assemble a model. Once again, happy Easter and see you next time. Bye.